Hey guys, I'm Christopher and welcome back. So today we're going to be continuing on my website. Um, just a quick thing, I did do... Uh, when I... I think I was on... Um, I think it was last episode when we checked out on on small on phone screen uh something wasn't right with the cards so i've got a solution for that uh let's just check this out come on no I resize thank you no okay still works Okay, if we go down here, as you can see, the cards don't look that good. So, what I've got is I did a lot of research and went through a lot of things. And finally, I came across Bootstrap's um, card version. So, if we go down here, okay. This does work. I have tested it out, and I have tested it out on stream as well. Uh, draw X. Okay, so we're going to go back up to the cards here, and we're going to delete all of these. So all of these are coming out. Just like so. Uh, put a space between that. And we do this. Cool. Let's indent this. Take that out. Now, if we save this and we go back into here, um, we reload the page. Theoretically, it should be there. There we go. One. So we need th uh, two more. Um, okay, let's go here. So V. That should not be like that. Let's indent that one. Let's take that out. That. Okay. And then we've got one more. These things. Okay. So there's all three cards. Hopefully they are the. No, not that. Reload the page, thank you. Okay, one, two, and three. And why are you in new? That makes no sense. Unless. Uh, div, div, ah. No, hang on. Um, div. Div, that's two divs. Uh, container div is there. There's only one div here, okay. Control X, Control V. Hopefully that will sort that out. Let's indent this one more. Bring it out, bring it. Okay, let's test that. Okay, that's the problem. That was the problem. So just sorted out that problem. Okay, so they're the three cards. Now, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be doing the T's and C's, the pricing and the T's and C's. So I've already gone and um, copied all the images over to the images file. So I'm actually quickly going to go up here and we're going to connect the icon. Um, to the image, so we go back one icon. There we go. So if we go and reload the page, there we go. The icon appears. Yeah, so the icon appears up there. Um, then what we want to do is we want to come back into here and we're going to go all the way down back to pricing and t's and c's so what we're going to do is we're going to have a div class a row 
fluid. Okay, why did that go out of there? Fluid. Okay. And we're going to have four of these. I mean, not four of them, just one. Sorry, getting ahead of myself here. Excuse me. Um, yeah, we're going to want then um, class. Oh, sorry. Div. Div class. Um, span and we're just going to close that off and we're going to have four of these these ones we're going to have four of okay so it's two three and four now we're going to go into here and we're going to say it's going to be one this is going to be one this is going to be five and that's going to be five cool and then we're going to have um image src and then alt and then uh, I think it was span no it wasn't span uh, style with um, 100% and yeah that should do that we just need to copy this and we need to paste it here cool and now that what we need to do now is we need to paste in the two pictures so it's pricing and t's and c's pricing one alt is pricing one uh, and then we've got pricing two pricing two which alt is pricing two we save that and we go into here and there we go we got our two pricing our two uh, pricing pricing spreadsheets sorry and then below that we're gonna have the T's and C's. So I think I should actually be putting a head up here. Yes, container. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do quickly. We're gonna go here, we're gonna say um div class uh container and in that container we're gonna have an h1 h1 pricing okay and then down here we're gonna have another uh, container uh, but we're gonna do a break first so I want to break between this and this. So the indent, indent, the R. And we're going to go all the way down here. We're going to do the same here. R. Cool. And then we're going to have another div class container. And we're going to indent, I'm going to say h1 um, t's terms and conditions. Terms and conditions. So this is basically going to do the same as the top. So I'll actually, you know what? I'll do it with you guys. Um, it's going to be quick anyway. So we have div class row uh, 
fluid and I'm going to close that off to do that and we're going to have see it's going to be three it's going to be um, so it'll be three spans uh, div class span uh, four div class span four then we're going to have it linked to an image, so img uh, src alt style width 100%. Okay, now we copy this three times. I mean, two, uh, two more times. Control C. Control V. And Control V. Okay, we're gonna have space between these. Okay, now we're gonna link them up to the terms and conditions. So T's and C's page one. Page two and page three. Ah, come on. Page three. Four. We can we save that? Uh, first, we can do this T's and C's. T's and C's uh, two one T's and C's three. Save that and we should go back and we should find all of our terms and conditions are there. We're gonna put a break between that and a break between that so that it doesn't look so uh, boxy. So let's do that quickly. Um, PR and go back up to yeah. Let me just do a quick one. PR and that should give it a bit of a break. If I can find the reload button. Yeah, it's given it a bit of a break, and our pictures are in. Um, however, see that needs a break as well. And we're going to be changing the color, the background color. Um, but first, I need to check something. I, I downloaded a font yesterday for our live, um, no, not yesterday, for Monday for our live stream. So I'm quickly going to see what the font's name is. Okay, so it's Goody Medieval. So we're going to go here, and that's going to be our paragraph. So if we do this, let me say P, um, font, font family. And we say, put it down to G. Goody medieval, goody old. I think it was goody old that we used. Let's check this out. Control S. Right. And Control S. Now, there we go. Paragraph. It's changed. It looks good. It does look good. Um, I actually want to see it with that other medieval one. I thought that's what I used yesterday, but, uh, Monday, but it's not. Okay. Uh, it was this one that I used. It wasn't the medieval one. So, let's go down to G again. Okay. Medieval. Let's see what the medieval looks like. 
Yeah, no, I like the other one. So we're going to keep it like this. Cool. And then we still need to uh, find things for the H1 headings. Um, why didn't it change the... Did it? Yes, it did. And why didn't it change these? Uh, what's in... What's in those... Oh, okay. We could change them to paragraphs. Okay. Um, H1, P. Oh, wait. I didn't see what that looked like. Uh, with this. It looks good, actually. I kind of like that. Now we just need to find... Uh, something for the H1 headings. Um, I want to change the color, so I think we're going to go with the blue gray for the background. Let's check what that looks like. So, if we go back into here, we go body and then we say background, background color. Um, hash. Three seven three A five one, and we're gonna take a look at that. No, not that. There we go. Ah, okay, these borders are gonna have to change. Um, why is this one so? Oh, never mind. Sort that out. Okay, so then we're just going to need to change the um, the colors of the headings and the colors of um, the words. So that's going to be, I think the headings are going to be dirty blue. So we go back into here and we go, um, if we go H1. I'm going to go uh, color. I'm going to pick a color of 171C2F. Yeah. So we do that. And then for this, we're going to go down one. We're going to say um, color is going to be gray. So we're going to say 7, 9, 8, 9, 10. Ah, got the hash. That's what I was forgetting. Hash. And we go into here. Let's reload the page. Come on, reload the page for me, please. Oh, okay. What are these if they're not H1? Um, no, they are H1s. The H4 container, the H1 website. Okay, so let's change it to white then. Um, let's change these to change them to white. Uh, no capital. Looks like white might be the way to go. You can read the you can read the, the lettering. I like that. Um, yeah, pricing's good, good, good. Okay, so we got all of those done. Uh, now we only need to do is find. Um, <coughs> sorry. Now all we need to do is find an H one. 
an h1 font that we're going to use for the h1 font and then we just have the um why do i keep on saying um we just have to do the contact and then we're almost done eh? but i think what i am going to do is i am going to make that other page uh, and we're just going to add it to the nav bar under under home we'll have a drop down arrow and it will take us to the other it will take us to um, the other side of wolf's web the youtube side and the and the twitch side so yeah thank you guys for joining me today it's been a real pleasure i hope that you guys have a wonderful day further this is from Chris, this is Christopher from Wolf's Web. Out. Awesome.